Plumes of smoke billow over Kharkiv. On the ground, firefighters race to put out the blazes. Several apartment buildings in parts of the city fell victim to Russian shelling Sunday. Residents watched on, bewildered as their homes went up in flames. I called the firefighters. They said, we're on our way, but we were also being shelled. I asked, when will you arrive? And they said, we don't know. They arrived very late, around 25 minutes later, and everything here had begun to burn. Elsewhere in the city, emergency workers race to save the injured. But rescue operations are hampered by the constant threat of Russian strikes. This man's daughter was killed by the shelling. My daughter was killed. I've got a call and I was told that my daughter was killed. Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city, has been a major target for Russia since the early days of the war. The bombardment is constant now, as Russian forces shift their focus to the east of the country. The mayor of Kharkiv is urging residents to flee with the help of local authorities. We are evacuating people from the most dangerous areas of the city, which have been under ceaseless bombardment. We are moving people to places that are less dangerous because nowhere in Kharkiv is fully safe anymore. More than 500 civilians have been killed in Kharkiv since the start of the Russian invasion.